With Riot making major changes to the jungle in the preseason, this has naturally shaken up the meta when it comes to jungle routes and pathing. But as we always do, we here at Skillcapped have been hard at work at researching and testing to find out the new strongest meta routes. Of course, this comes at the price of our sanity as we grind the cesspool known as preseason solo queue. Lucky for you though, you don't have to pay that price and instead reap all the rewards, as we've uncovered the strongest route in the preseason, and so that's what you're about to learn today. And you know what else helps you climb solo queue and save your sanity at the same time? Using our platform at skillcap.com, we have over 280 high quality courses taught by challenger experts covering every role and skill you need to learn in order to rank up. That's not all though, as we release 10 new Smurf commentaries every single week to our website. This is where a challenger player teaches you how to climb out of the exact rank that you're stuck in. And if you want something more personal, well, then we got you covered with coaching from our trained challenger experts. If all of this wasn't enough, we're also backed by a rank up guarantee, so there's no risk. If you don't significantly improve while actively using skill capped, then you get your money back, no questions. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and get the rank you've always wanted. All right, now let's jump straight into the guide. So, I don't want you guys to worry, in a second here we'll explain the reasons why this route is so powerful, but stick with me as we first need to briefly go over exactly what the route is. So, the game plan is simple. We start on the top side of the map, and then you want to full clear all the way to the bottom side and grab the scuttle that spawns there at 3 minutes and 30 seconds. You then recall, spend your gold making sure to buy a control ward and swap to a sweeping lens if you haven't yet, and then full clear a second time all the way to the bottom side of the map. When you finish this second full clear, the dragon will have spawned, so use your sweeping lens and place your control ward, and then take the dragon by yourself. Again, after you do this, you want to recall, but instead of full clearing a third time, you want to just clear the top quadrant of your jungle. At this point, the Rift Herald will have spawned, and so after clearing your top quadrant, you then take the Rift Herald. Now, don't worry, we realize that League of Legends isn't as simple as doing the exact same cookie cutter route every single game, which is why in this guide, we'll be going over an additional 8 other replays to show you how to adapt to different scenarios. However, before we do that, it's important that you understand what the core game plan is and why it's so strong in the current meta. So, what exactly did happen during the preseason for a route that involves full clearing twice in a row to suddenly become the strongest route? Well, it's mainly due to three changes. First is that Riot significantly buffed the Krug camp. The large Krug no longer separates into two medium Krugs and instead will just spawn smaller Krugs immediately. This massively increases your clear speed when you full clear, and at the same time, Krugs are just honestly overpowered in terms of the golden experience they give now relative to how fast you can clear it. This significantly boosted the value of full clearing. The second reason is that Riot increased the initial Rift Scuttle spawn from 3.15 to 3 minutes and 30 seconds. This is massive. In the previous season, only a select few champions would use a full clear route. They basically had to be extremely fast farmers so they could full clear their entire jungle before the scuttle spawns at 315. This was due to the fact that if they couldn't do this, then they would be at a huge risk of the enemy jungler taking both scuttles away from them. Now, that is no longer the case, as literally every single jungler can full clear before the new 3 minute and 30 second scuttle spawn. So, there's no risk of not being there in time to fight over the scuttles. This makes full clearing now viable on literally every jungler. And the third and last reason this route is so powerful is due to the massive buff Riot applied to dragons. They did this all the way back on patch 12.14, and overnight this increased the win rate of getting first dragon from 63% to 66%. Also, to put things more into perspective, on the current patch, if you get the dragon soul you have anywhere from a 86.9% to 91.6% chance of winning the game. Dragons are just far more valuable now than most players realize. On top of this, on the same patch, they also buffed Rift Herald to give 200 more local gold to the team that kills it. Now, these buffs have just been lurking under the surface this entire time, but when Riot made the previous two changes we listed, buffing Krugs and increasing the Scuttle spawn timer, this is what then made the route you're about to learn even more powerful. By full clearing, we get to take advantage of those changes into then hitting the spawn timers of Dragon and Rift Herald to take them immediately. And I know, a lot of you more skeptical viewers are thinking, hey, wait a minute, didn't they just nerf the gold you get from jungle camps? Won't that be like a nerf to this route you're teaching? Well, yeah, of course, but guess what? This route was so overpowered that even with this nerf, it's still insanely strong. It really didn't change anything. The easiest way to actually prove this without having you just trust my opinion would be to take a jungler that always executes a full clear in their opening route that didn't get buffed or nerfed on that patch. In this case, it would be Shivana. She always full clears, takes early dragons. She's kind of a poster child for this route. You can see how after the most recent patch 1223B went live, which had those nerfs to jungle gold, her win rate actually increased. 
The silver line represents silver elo, gold, gold elo, and platinum, platinum elo. So overall, still a super effective route throughout a wide variety of ranks. And if you're still worried about the viability of this route, well, don't worry. We got you covered as we'll be creating a tier list ranking the power of every single jungler in the game with this route at the end of the guide. All right, now, before we get into the different variations and adjustments, I don't want you guys to think that this route can only be used when you're on the red team. As that was just the initial example we used, it's also just as powerful if you're on the blue side. You still want to start on the top side of the map, full clear to the bottom, take the scuttle, and then recall. The only difference is that instead of full clearing a second time into doing dragon, you want to do Gromp, Wolves, Raptors, that lets you hit level 5, then take dragon into your Krugs. Same game plan as before, we recall, and then want to clear only the top quadrant on our third clear and go for the Rift Herald as it spawns. However, in this case, I'm clearing so fast I can actually sneak an additional Raptor camp and then head back to the Rift Herald since I'm clearing ahead of the timer. Alright, I already know a lot of you guys are going to be skeptical that this would actually work in your own games. You probably have questions like, won't the enemy jungler just get free ganks off this entire time and then just snowball the laners while I passively full clear? Well, here's the thing, you can actually still gank during this route, so let me show you how. In this game, I'm playing Shivana against Xin Zhao. I start top side at my red and full clear to the bot side as planned. Now, this never changes, you always full clear, but what does change is when you get to that first scuttle spawn. You can see how in this game after I take the scuttle, I go for a gank on bot lane since they're overextended and committing to a fight. This is very important for you to understand, so listen up. When you execute a full clear as your opening route, you will always have a bit of extra time to work with at the end of it. This is because if you just immediately recall and then head back into a full clear, you'll waste some time waiting for camps to respawn. You could actually see this happen in the initial standard examples we showed you. And so, once you've finished your full clear, be aware that now is the time to look for possible ganks on bot lane. You can see how after this gank I immediately recall and just head back into the normal game plan. A second full clear into then taking the first dragon. And then for my third rotation I take my top side quadrant into then looking to take the rift herald. However, things don't always go as planned, in this game the enemy Zen Zhao ganks top right at this moment, but I saw him use his ultimate. So I look to invade and then kill him at his blue buff, but since he didn't arrive I now know he's on rift herald which makes for an easy kill. Let me show you another example of the gank bot, but this time from the blue team perspective. No surprises here, we want to start topside and full clear to bot. Again, after I kill the scuttle, I know I have a bit of extra time to work with. Additionally, I made sure to use my sweeping lens as I walk to scuttle so I know there's no wards bot side. So I move in and gank and you guys are probably thinking, well, wasn't that just a total waste of time? No, because we're able to chunk the enemy rel and gave our bot lane an advantage in lane. At the same time, remember, we have extra time to waste since we're full clearing as we showed before. So we want to immediately recall now and head back into our second full clear. Again, exactly as we taught you, if we're on the blue team, we want to skip Krugs and just head straight into taking the dragon after Raptors. We then take the Krugs after and recall. Again, game plan is to farm this one quadrant and look to take Rift Herald after. During this time, I see the enemy Shivana gank top, but since she used her ultimate, I know I once again have the advantage if I can get the jump on her. This results in a kill, and now I can safely take the Rift Herald without any risk of her trying to contest. Still, I'm sure some of you more skeptical players may be worried that if we're only able to gank bot lane, then doesn't that significantly limit our options? Well, don't worry, as you can still gank top lane in this route. So here I'm playing Shivana against Fi, and what a shock, I'm starting topside and full clearing towards bot. Now, after I kill the scuttle, my bot lane is pushing the enemy in, who are healthy, and so there's no gank or dive available. So we want to immediately recall. Now, what you need to realize is since we never wasted time ganking bot side, it means we still have that extra time to spend as we get to our crux. This is why when I spot the enemy top laner pushed up, I know I can execute a gank immediately. We don't get the kill, but we get him low enough that he'll now have to recall, which helps our top lane win. Do keep in mind though, we have no more time to waste now as we just ganked, so we need to head into our second full clear. Now, as we finish our second full clear, obviously we want to try and take the dragon. But do keep in mind, just like how we have extra time after we complete our first full clear, we also have a bit of extra time now before our camps respawn once again. So with the control ward down bot side and the enemy overextended, it's a no brainer, we look to gank. It ends up working out and now this means I have a man advantage in bot lane. So taking this dragon is risk free as if a fight breaks out, we'll win with the number advantage. Now we need to recall so we can get to top side for the Rift Herald. However, notice how after I do Krugs, I immediately look to gank top instead of clearing my red and Raptors. In this case, the enemy top is very low in health and I also spotted Vi hitting the Scryer's Bloom plant on the minimap. So I read that there's an easy counter gank available for me. On top of that, see how Vi is level 5 while I'm level 6? This is the power of us full clearing while she didn't. And so, with the kill on the enemy top laner, lane priority in mid lane, and the fact that I'm a level up on Vi, I know it's better to invade here instead of just trying to do the Rift Herald. I'm able to steal the Gromp, securing me level 7 over Vi's level 5, and then look to take the Rift Herald after. 
Again, this gank top can also be executed if you're on the blue team. Here, I'm playing Shivana against Fiddlesticks. We start topside, full clear into bot, and then take the scuttle. We have no gank available in bot lane, and so we recall. Then, as we head to topside, we spot the enemy Alawi overextended and low in health, so it makes for an easy gank. Remember, this means we've now spent all the extra time we have, so we need to immediately head back into our second clear. And since we're on the blue team, you gotta make sure that you take the dragon after raptors, then finish the Krugs after into recalling. Alright, and that basically covers all the more common and standard scenarios you'll run into. So now, let's go over some more unique situations and how to play around them. Here, I'm playing Shivana into Silas Jungle. We start topside, full clear into bot, and take the scuttle. No gank bot side, so we immediately recall. We head top and start clearing towards the dragon spawn. During this time though, we spot the enemy jungler gank top. Even though we're only level 4 and we haven't finished our second full clear, it will make sense to take advantage of this timing and take the dragon now as there's no way for the enemy jungler to contest it. Always be on the lookout for the enemy jungler showing topside during this time so you can take the dragon even earlier. After the dragon, we now need to finish clearing our bot side quadrant, and then we recall to go to topside in preparation for the Rift Herald spawn. Again, we only clear that one quadrant topside. We then spot the enemy top laner overextended, and so gank him prior to taking the Rift Herald. This then secures us a number advantage to guarantee that we'll win any fight over the Rift Herald if the enemy jungler tries to contest us. Here's another scenario that you may find yourself in. I'm playing Shivana against Talon Jungle. I start topside, and as I get to the bot side of the map and I'm clearing my camps, I spot the enemy Talon ganking top. This is far too early for a jungler to have full cleared and then ganked afterwards. So I know Talon had to have left some camps up. So after I take the scuttle, I move in to check whether he left his Krugs up. And sure enough, they're alive. I can't emphasize how big of a swing this is for us. Krugs are insanely valuable in this patch, and I was able to take mine in my opening route and then steal his, which will give me a massive XP lead. I then see a potential gank bot, but unfortunately with Blitz not landing a hook, didn't work out, so I immediately recall after. We know the game plan at this point, we do a second full clear as I finish the gromp, I then spot Talon not only gank mid, but also then move towards the top side. So this lets me know taking this dragon is completely free. Then as I finish the dragon and start to take the scuttle, I once again spot Talon ganking mid. This is much too far away for me to react to in time, so again, I want to look to counter jungle instead. I'm able to take his red buff, and now remember the Rift Herald will be spawning topside. So since I want to go there, I hit a transition gank on mid and kill the Rise in the process. This then lets me steal Talon's wolves and look to take the Rift Herald after. We actually run into Talon here and you can see how laughable it is and how easy it is to 1v1 him with our XP lead. With Talon being level 5 and low in health, it makes for a safe and easy Rift Herald. Keep in mind that as I recall here, I'm actually ahead 23 CS on Talon while having secured the first dragon and the Rift Herald. This really highlights just how strong this route can be if someone goes for a more aggressive heavy gank playstyle. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys may be wondering why in none of these clips the enemy jungler contested me at the first scuttle or at the dragon. Well, here's a little secret to this route. You see, you'll be starting on the top side every single game, right? Well, the vast, vast majority of junglers like to start bot side as it will give them a strong leash from their bot lane. The side effect of this is that you end up pathing into opposite directions. When that happens, the bot side scuttle is completely free as the enemy juggler has pathed towards top. Then, as both junglers enter their second rotation, again, the enemy jungler will be pathing top side while you're pathing bot side towards the dragon spawn. This means at the end of your full clear, when you go for dragon, the enemy jungler will be at his wolves and gromp top side. Basically, pay attention to the side lanes at the start of the game. If you see the enemy top show first, it means the enemy jungler is getting a leash on the bot side of the map. So, he'll be pathing away from you, and it will make this route extremely easy to execute. This does naturally pose a question though, what do we do if they don't do that and instead start topside like we do? Well, then you'll just have to evaluate whether you win the fight over the scuttle once you finish your first full clear. If you do, great, go for it and the plan stays as normal. If you don't, you want to immediately recall after your last camp, you'll be able to get an item advantage and get to the topside scuttle in time to take it. This will prevent you from being double scuttled. From there, the game plan continues as normal, but you will have to be a bit more cautious around taking that first dragon since it's more likely the enemy jungler will be in the area. Alright, so let's jump into the tier list ranking junglers with this route. There are a few things you'll notice. Typically, the junglers you find in the S tier are junglers who just prefer to full clear as their opening route. This is either because their clear speed is just super fast, or they have a weak early game and are looking to farm and hit a level 6 power spike. A tier junglers are those who often fall back on this full clear if they don't see any ganks available. The B tier are champions who typically don't intend to use this route and will look for more aggressive openers the majority of the time, but again can fall back on this route if no ganks are available. They just typically either have weaker clear speed or a stronger early game than the junglers ranked above. 
and in the C tier are champions we don't really recommend using this route on. These are typically more aggressive junglers that want to hit early level 3 gank timings and or simply don't have the clear speed or dragon clear to make this a good route on them. Alright, before we wrap this up, let's tell you a little more about skill capped. We offer a 5 division rank up guarantee and think that's a pretty crazy thing to offer. It's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. Your local gym would go bust if they offered that, right? Not us. We've offered this for years because our service really does work. It works so well, in fact, that we're able to produce by far the largest catalog of premium lead guides on the internet. We add over 20 videos a week with over 2,000 guides curated into over 270 courses. No one can compare. We've also sent challenger players into ELO Hell over 1,100 times and counting, where they commentate how to carry live. They also respond to all your questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $6.99 a month to improve fast and get the rank you've always wanted. Link in the description below. All right, and that wraps up the video. Get out there and start farming that free LP. We here at Skillcapped want to thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.